25 from Woody. Hey, Tim, I appreciate the love on the tattoo. I hope you liked it. Hey, man, it turned out great, bro. So Woody <clears throat> got this on him. Obviously, it's my, my older logo. That's what I got on my chest. Similar. Um, turned out really cool, man. You went big on it too, bro. That's one of, honestly, people have gotten tattoos of me on them. Um, that's one of the larger, that's one of the larger ones I've seen. It looks good though, bro. Uh, and honestly, the guy that did the tattoo, he did really good work. His line work is lit and his shading is lit. So it's not even your logo now. Yeah, but I mean, it's what I have on my chest. So if anything were, you know, there's more of a bond there. You know what's crazy, bro? Underneath his tattoo, I, I, I saw people, I saw people like, because I quoted the tweet and I retweeted it, right? And there's people that are like mocking him for getting that tattoo. And I'm like, homie, how, how miserable are fucking people that if you, bro, if you want to get a tattoo of a corn dog riding a skateboard, uh, we'll call him Johnny. It doesn't fucking matter to you, Johnny. If someone wants to get a tattoo, of a piece of pizza eating a pasta it doesn't matter to you johnny and listen johnny maybe you need to hear this bro or whoever you are bro my parents told me this a long time ago and help me out help me out a lot man if you don't have nothing nice to say shut the up right it's a really good rule of thumb to live by okay no one wants to hear your bull okay so shut the up it's as simple as that but I saw some people, and Woody, I just want to say, I saw you responding to those people, bro. Oh, my God. I don't give those people the time of day. I block them and move on. And then years down the road, I'd be like, dude, what? Dude, why did Tim block me, dude? I didn't even do anything, dude. Like, man. Like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm going to go rip this cigarette, dude. <laughs> Little fucking bitch. Long story short, I think the tattoo looks cool, Woody. And don't listen to what other people think. If you wanted to get that on you, go for it, man. Just like if you wanted to get a piece of salami eating a piece of bologna. Why not? 25 from Bullet. Hey, morning, Kevin and Tim. So Nate Shot made a statement about you joining 100 Thieves. Thoughts? Video starts at 2.20. Nate Shot did what? It's a, there's no real... Here's what I would say. There isn't really a negative. Um, there isn't really a negative that I can see if I join one. We'll see. We'll see what he says. We'll see if he lets me. FaceTime Tim. No, nah, I'm not going to FaceTime him right now. But uh, yeah, Tim's a great man. Hey, look, Tim was talking about joining esports organizations. I don't know if we have the ability to give him an offer that would be enough or exciting for him. I mean, I'd like to think we could, but I mean, Tim's got like, I mean, Tim is up here and 100 Thieves is up here, but over here. And it's hard to bring those two things together so that they're both really excited right it's it's not as easy as like hey tim you want to join 100 thieves <laughs> you know tim's got an incredible business and he does a fantastic job of being tim the tap man so but uh, 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 a huge a huge butt there guys okay you know i now whenever i see nade shot talk about this who's this guy who's this guy it's like a news channel stuff whenever he says it in that kind of light i instantly think back to the, the LA Thieves thing. You guys remember his clip where he, he fooled everybody? Bro, I, I, I was about to like this guy a lot. Jake. Jake's his name. I was about to like him a lot because I thought this was a Dallas Cowboys jersey in the top left, but it's complexity. Damn, we were so close, you know? I thought I thought that was a Dallas Cowboys jersey in the top left, but it's a complexity one. I mean, complexity is cool too. I mean, he's got Overwatch stuff. He's got a bunch of hats. He has a nice little layout. Does he got a straw in his coffee? Does he drink the straw? Oh, to stir it? Yeah, I understand the Cowboys own complexity. Guys, do you think, guys, I've been in this space for years, bro. Okay, I know what's going on here. It's no, I didn't know who Jake was, that's all. His name's Jake, it's nice to meet you. There are, so since I have been vocalizing that I'm interested in joining an esports organization, there have been quite a bit of offers from a lot of teams there's a lot there's a lot going on in it because like matt said it's not it's not as simple as hey tim <laughs> or it's not as simple as 
phase reaching out or tsm reaching out and just be like hey it's the, the, there's like a lot going into it um and I, i'm 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 looking at um i'm just i'm kind of laying them all out side by side with my agency and just kind of seeing if we do this what one makes the most sense so i have a lot of love for matt and 100 thieves obviously and a lot of people know that um but i, I you know i have connections guys connections I, I have relationships with a lot of esports organization you know esports or organizations in general uh guys stop saying kfc bro all right it's not that funny stop all right but like hastro right i've known hastro for years hector you guys know i've known hex for hex, i mean hector i've known him eight seven eight years now right so it's like there, there's a lot of you know variables and ultimately we're just kind of laying everything out side by side it's just kind of like what one kind of makes the most sense for us here so it's kind of where that's kind of where we're at just so you guys know a little update on that but <clears throat> guys stop spamming kfc i'm not joining a fast food organization 50 bucks from mike a tim brother-in-law's nephew's brain cancer has returned he beat it it's back and it's not good his dream is to become a famous youtuber he recently hit 121,000 subs in a week's time what oh man he's a kid bro what's up everybody cool king logan back with another video today i'm gonna show you this cool camera my new cool camera the dji pocket 2 i'm gonna unbox it for you guys so i hope you guys enjoy I like his lamp. I think first this is the camera. You pull it out so you guys can see it. And this is the case for it. They're pretty cool. Some of the stuff that goes to it. He has like a little intro too, Chad. Look at this. His name's Logan. Everyone go sub to his channel, man. That's that's a that's a brutal thing. Hey, listen, I hope the best for his family and everyone going through it obviously that's a uh that's a really tough thing to deal with man his dreams to be a famous youtuber chat hey listen man i'm not the most famous guy you know but uh if we can help out and sub to him why not you know what i mean chat hey whips can you spam it in the chat for me his link i'll yeah i mean i i, I subscribe to him man listen there's a lot like i said there's a lot of uh, uh there's a lot more famous people out there than me you know but I hope the best for Logan, man. I'll be praying for him. That's a tough thing. Family, whole family's going through. It's a tough thing. I can't imagine. He has a GoFundMe as well. I mean, Whips, you're more than welcome to spam that as well. If, if he has it. All right, here, here's a 261 from Dante. Hey, Tim, may I get unbanned? I didn't do anything wrong. Chad, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. Typically, when, uh, when these donos roll out, they did something wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I was just going with the chat. I've learned my lesson and my unbanned request was denied. Hey, Whips, what this dude say, bro? What's this, what's, what this dude say? He didn't donate with his Twitch name so we can't check his logs. Man, Dante, you're really dropping the ball here, bro. Huh? Whips, if he hits you up, try and figure it out, man. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dante, for the 260, man. Mike, thanks again for the for the 50, man. I hope the best for Logan and everything, bro, for real. All right, that's all I'm going to say. You know, I'll be praying for him in my thoughts, all right? Whole family. Uh, 50 bucks from Gamer. Tim, morning. I just got the champion tap man hoodie, and I'm pumped. It looks tough. Keep doing you. Don't let anyone tell you you're fat. Nikki, six, next, and Cloak got nothing on you. Yeah, true. True, you're right. Hey, bro, you already got my merch, though? Wait, you are... Hang on. You already got... You you already got the... Wait, wait, wait. Did anyone actually already get... Just got... Maybe he means ordered. No, hey, none of you have gotten the champion stuff yet, right? Raise your hand. No? You just ordered it? Okay. Man, he purchased it. Got it. All right, wait. Here's Mr. Clean TV's hoodie that he was... He told me to check out. Um... <sighs> How do I feel about this hoodie? I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. First glance, I thought Ninja. Not that he can, like, 
<laughs> obviously it's his color scheme like uh, like a blue and gold and it's not that you can't have blue and gold but that's the first thing that popped into my head um i'm assuming this is your logo right it's cool you can have them put their gamer tag on the back as well um i i, I would say for me personally i don't know if i would wear this just because it's really really bright and I don't typically wear bright, bright stuff, even though I'm wearing like a pink hoodie right now. I don't wear like, I don't usually wear like a bright yellow, bright blue, typically. I'll wear like a pink, a salmon, um, black and gray. You know, that's what I usually do. But that's me personally, man. I, it's not to say that it's bad. I'm not, I'm listen, I, I'm not a clothing designer. I don't know much about clothes. I'm just letting you know what I feel about it.